Once we have the PixHawk flight controller connected to the QBrain 4-in-1 ESC, we're going to begin to connect our modules or our components. The, uh, the first component that we're going to connect is the telemetry module and this device is what will enable the quadcopter to communicate to the ground station later on. When you order this uh, module, you're going to get two of these and it doesn't matter which one that you choose to connect to the PixHawk or to the laptop. One thing I do want to mention as we're beginning to connect our components, look very carefully <clears throat> at the connector. There's two little notches on one side. You want to make sure that these little notches are lined up with the wee little notches on the PixHawk. And if you go to our website, you'll see a close-up photograph of what I mean. Now, we're going to take this connector and we're going to connect it to the port on the PixHawk that says Telem 1. That's short form for the tele telemetry radio. So let's go ahead and align those notches with the notches that are on the socket of the PixHawk. And we just push it in until it's snug. And then we'll just set our telemetry radio aside. What I didn't mention is the calibration of the QBrain uh, 4-in-1 ESC. We're going to take care of that later on when we've got all of our components connected. Now the next component that we're going to connect to the PixHawk is going to be the uh, GPS compass. But first, what we're going to do is connect um, an I2C splitter to the PixHawk and then we'll connect the GPS to the splitter. Now, what the splitter is going to do is provide power to the GPS, but then we have all of these other little sockets where we can add additional components like, L <laughs> like LEDs and uh, uh, first-person video or video recording equipment. So we're just going to position that there and the opposite end of this connector wire will go into the I2C socket on the PixHawk. So let's just get that pushed in. It's a little wire, so if you've got a little wire and a little socket, if you've got big fingers, it'll be a little tricky. There we go. All right, now for the GPS, what we want to do is put the small connector into the I2 socket and the larger connector will go into the GP, into the PixHawk in the socket that is identified as GPS. And again, make sure that you line up those little notches with the notches on the socket. And then the big connector into the GPS socket on the Pixel. that down. I've got a little bit of sticky tape or double-sided tape on the back of that socket to help hold it in place. So there we go. The next component that we want to 
connect to the pick sock is going to be the safety buzzer. Now this buzzer gives a warning when the quadcopter is armed and also will emit different tones when we're calibrating the ESC. You can also set it, the Pixhawk to play some music on startup. And it's quite nice. So let's go ahead, connect this buzzer, and it goes into the buzzer socket on the Pixhawk. Here. Now, what we want to do is connect this little switch to the pick sock and it goes into the socket that's called switch. Again, line up your little notch on the connector with the notch on the socket of the pick sock and then just push it in until it's tight. So we'll just set that over here for now. All right, so now up to this point, we have our Telemetry radio. Oh, we didn't hook up the power module yet. <clears throat> so this is the power module that comes with the particular Pixhawk um, flight controller that kit that I bought. And we want to connect the connector wire into the power module and then connect this end of the connector into the power socket on the pick sock. As I said, if you go to our website, learnrobotics.com, and that's robotics with an X. Then you will see close-up photographs of each of these connections. Or perhaps you're on our website right now as you're watching this video as well. All right, so let's recap. What do we have hooked up here? We have our telemetry radio. We have our QBrain 4-in-1 uh, ESC, which is our electronic speed controller. And what this, what this does is it will um, control the speed of our four motors. We have our buzzer. We have our reset switch. And uh, it's also used for arming the quadcopter. We have our GPS compass, which is hooked up into our I2C splitter and our I2C splitter into the Pixhawk. And then we have our power module connected.